moment of truth if that bumpy ride did anything. It's continuing to pour and we are completely fogged in now. We can't see anything. Just spotted the giant. We have less than so like 14 hours, 12 hours until we're on a plane heading to Anchorage. And all of my stuff is still all over the place. And uh, the nerves are settling in. I'm wearing my, my boots. I have about four days into these boots, so hopefully I don't run into any issues there. But right now, we gotta get all of our bow stuff together. Final checks of sight tape, final checks of everything, put a little uh, patch kit together, and then pack it all away so that we're done. Last checks, it's exciting. again. On a 60. Well, should we pack her up? Pack her up. Probably can't get any better than that, eh? Just gotta run it. Almost forgot the spotting scope, but we got her. Starting to feel real now. There's one. Yeah. All right, we got the case. Got the goods. 9:15. Went to dinner with some friends here in Anchorage. We got all of our stuff laid out. Mitchell showed up. His flight got delayed all day today. Yeah. All day of travel. He had like all day travel which really sucked for him, um, but he's here. Everything's here. We're just kind of repacking, making sure we're gonna go. We got a flight tomorrow that we just gotta be ready for. I'm just gonna reorganize. Cause I feel like I got too much stuff, <laughs> which I don't think I do. I just gotta reorganize. What's happening, boys and girls? August 31, it's uh, one o'clock. This is our last time for service for a little bit. Probably an hour, two hour flight. We're gonna land there, get in a camp, and disperse to smaller camps from there. We're doing it, dude. Moose hunt. Pretty, uh, pretty smooth, smooth flight. A little bumpy, but not too bad. A little colder than I was thinking it was gonna be out here. We're gonna unload. That's our ride right there in the camp. Plenty of daylight ahead of us, so we're in for an adventure. Two people can jump in Kong and three people. You guys get in the back. I see a lot of bears. A few, not, maybe not a ton, but yeah, a few. It to their main camp here. Tonight we got a pretty good drive on the quads. So we're gonna kind of shuffle around, they said, disperse into our camps. Um, there's two other guys that are moose hunting, so we're kind of going off in three groups. We're, we have like a four hour quad ride tonight though. We're going deep.
Home sweet home. I know. Oh. Hopefully the bubble wrap job works. What was our time on that? Ta-da! <laughs> that worked out pretty nice, actually. Moment of truth if that bumpy ride did anything. Right in the pocket. Should be good. Yeah, the first man I was like, what do we got here? Like August 7th, we had below freezing. We had snow up in the high mountains even. You guys are like, you get mobile. There's probably no checking the weather here, eh? I do, I can check it on my, in reach. Oh, that's right. It's surprisingly, you know, I, I don't give it a lot of credence after much past two days. So the knob's just up around the lake. Kind of north yeah. side of the lake. The one we're going to? Yeah. It's more like it's right up behind camp here. It's not oh, like literally. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. There is a, there is a little hill over there too. Yeah, but it's. Okay. Yeah. This is this is great. Just over the top of the ridge line, you just see like it's like a gold kind of white paddle there just turned oh yep got him trying to figure out if he's a legal bull or not he's got he's got some brown tines but he's still he's like covered up by a bunch of trees he's been rubbing he's got velvet hanging on him and it's really windy so it's hard to stabilize the spotter Back out here, we took a took a nice little siesta and lunch break. Um, it's 5:27 right now, so we got probably four hours of of light left. But what's going to be really nice about, especially using Huntwise out here, is we're collecting data. And this is what John said: it's like we're sitting up here. We got moose sighting here, moose sighting here, and then moose, moose. Let's say we see three moose way over here in this direction well then we can like attend you know have all of our attention on that spot and not really worry about other spots as much so it's gonna be nice as we see moose way off in the distance we can just kind of drop pins and and uh, kind of collect data that way help make the glassing a little bit easier winding down the night now if we saw one bull moose that's all we saw all day it's about 9.16 in the afternoon. We probably, we still got some light left, but it's it's getting dim. But we saw a bull moose, so that's good. It's a good day. Some days are expected. We're not even gonna see one. And we were able to watch the sunset on this awesome mountain range. So, right where the sun is, is where our camp is. No way. I think he's still in that one. He's still in velvet, actually. Yeah. We never would have saw these from camp. Just a whole nother, whole nother perspective coming over here. We got base camp is about probably a mile about that way. The moose we saw yesterday is a good bit over there, but now our cows, we've seen two cows now in that little bowl in full velvet. 
over on this side. So we're gonna drop a pin. So we got our glassing knob. I, I turned on tracking too, so it tracked our way in just in case, just in case we gotta know that. But there's our bowl over there. Let's see how far that is. Yeah, 1.3 miles. That was really wet, both externally and internally. <laughs> <laughs> it's continuing to pour, and we are completely fogged in now. We can't see anything. That was cool. Dope. A little behind the scenes action here. We're gonna get up just home base glassing, just it's right up here. And uh, overlook everything. Do some more glassing. some rain coming in. I thought we were gonna be pretty good on weather, but might be raining for a little while. End of day four, another new bowl. New country covered. Overall, good day. Good day on the moose glass and knob. Now, hopefully, uh, it doesn't rain overnight because Mitchell's sleeping bag can't get much more wet. <laughs> but I'm ready for dinner in that stove, in that, uh, in that tent. Good old tarp mountain. Back in our spot. That felt harder today. I don't know why, but it did. Hopefully we can find some moose. sluggish this morning. Let me make some coffee. Instant coffee and an instant hand warmer at the same time. It's a moose. Cow bedded down. You can only see like his head. I saw his little Ears flopping, that's all I saw it. Gaining more intel, just spotted a cow on the same hillside we've seen one bull. Um, we just saw a cow, we saw a cow and a, a calf earlier, and then we got another cow bit down over here. So, very, very moosey right there, very moosey right there. So, we're gonna drop, drop another pin there. 
drop another pin here just to keep tabs where we're seeing moose. Just uh, had a little rain squall come through. No moose this afternoon. Kind of disappointed in this spot, but I think there's still moose here. I just don't think they're moving around. I think our last little push for the afternoon glass, I think John wants to go just up over over this little knob. See a bunch of new new area, so. Still trying to find a moose. A lot of glassing. Moose hunting is way more glassing than I thought it would be. And it's wet. And uh, yeah, lots of glassing. Morning number six. We're going up to Tarp Knob, Tarp Mountain, to find a moose. Everyone's really tired. Slowly gaining intel. More and more pins are being dropped. We're back on the Tarp Mountain. Heavy moose, we've been seeing so many moose over here and then right here we kind of have two areas they've been super concentrated on. We found a cow. She popped kind of out of nowhere, pretty close to. End of the morning glass, one cow. Winding down the night, day number five, six. Day number six is starting to blend together. We got a good uh, rest and recovery midday. Had lunch, went for a quick ptarmigan hunt. Didn't see any ptarmigan. But I think tomorrow our plan is, unless we see moose for the next half hour, 40 minutes of light or so, 
We're gonna go way over on that knob over there. That's where we sat yesterday. So we're probably gonna get out there pretty early, sit all day, most of the day, something like that. Just gotta find a moose. for quite a long time. Hiked up, this is the knoll we were on two days ago. But we're up here in the morning, which is good because the morning's where we have most of our activity and sightings and stuff, so. I'm out of breath. I was a little bit of a burner of a hike. There's the bull bedded. They kind of like. Did you see that? That hawk just went by us at like two yards. Right here. It face. almost landed on his body. Anyways, um, so we're. I think our next move is we're gonna make a play on this guy. Um, we're gonna mark his location. We're gonna range him, mark it, double check, do as good of a job as we can marking this. And then I think we're gonna get on the wheelers, drive over here. Now we're gonna have a, about a thousand yard hike down this drainage. Luckily, he's bedding a little bit of elevation, and we got some wind today. So, Let's see what happens. giant came in he was at 377 broadside for a long time I mean we would have shot him probably would have shot the small one first yeah. <laughs> and the big one would have showed up but two legal bulls right here after seven days of just nothing they both come in which is wild so the play now is 
the small smaller one peeled off he's down in this bottom right here probably 250 yards but we're gonna see what he does first the big one is up with the cows up in here if we don't see anything or action with the small smaller one we're probably gonna bail around try to slip in and then do some raking once we get within get within some you know get in his bubble because he was very territorial We went where the big one went and didn't see him. It's super, super thick in here. Yeah. <laughs> I should have took another layer off. Done for the day. Best day we've had yet, four bowls. We saw another little bull at the end. That incredible encounter. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we uh, we see them again tomorrow and can put a better play on them. Um, we're gonna go back in the same glass and knob, and hopefully we can find them again in the morning. Yesterday we popped right over. In two seconds we saw a bull. That didn't happen to me. What bull is it? Just spotted one right here, guys. Too small. Take stock on him for fun, please. 35 yards, he was dead, dude. Just spotted the giant.
really good. a little bit because I was so amped up but I think it's high long is what I hit he was hurt bad did you notice that too It was at 45. seen anything like that? No. <laughs> that is a freaking huge hole. Was that the big one? I don't know. I, I, I could see four on one oh, side. I, I didn't have enough. Okay, so I was like, browse. I was like, browse. John won't be mad. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what, I yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> that's what I, was like. I was like, I'm just glad you guys did totally the right thing. Dude, <laughs> did you tell him what we were doing? Yeah. I told him, I was like, we got back oh, up here from messing around we with We ran that down to the other bowl, and I'm like, 40, and then we'd run into 30, and then 30, and I'm like, ah, oh, let's go back, and I get up there, and I look, and I'm like, that's a different one, <laughs> right where we just were. Literally Real. right where we Unreal. were. Real. <laughs> Give me yeah, a hug. dude, freaking awesome job. I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, my anxiety through the roof, I know, that I know. shot's a little high. Like, that shot was a little high and that was totally my fault with not checking my sight. That was such a dumb, I mean, Mitch thinks, I think it's, I, I think I'm hoping I it's just high lung. Yeah. You know, it's like very like center and about this far from the top of the back. Yeah. Anxiety levels are really high right now. We, uh, we view the footage, it's a little high. I like that it was a pass through. Um, I'm so mad at myself for not having my sight. Just leaving it where I was practicing, not even double checking. Um, but we never saw him come out of the bottom. It was a pass through. We heard crashing when he ran in there. Um, all good signs, but I don't like that it was a little high. I mean, that's never, never good. But. So we're just watch we're watching where he ran in. And uh, I'm just gonna give them a lot of time, hour or two. It's been, uh, I think we shot him at like 9.15, probably. 9.46 now. So. Gave it our best.
Alright, you're good, John. Shoo! Yeah. We got him! <laughs> Who saw him? Riley. Oh, yeah, man! Yes! Where's he? Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Yeah, dude! Yes! Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> Unreal, man. Dude, insane. Highs to <laughs> highs to lows of lows. Dude, I was down, man. What'd you just say? Oh, got it. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's like, oh. <laughs> he's like. I know, I thought he was scared like a grizzly. Give me a hug, Mitchell. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so pumped. Oh, my. <laughs> Dude, he did exactly the tricky thing. If he, he just hugged this hill around the corner. That's why we didn't see him. Yeah, dude! That is so huge. What a deal. Oh, good. Oh, baby. Dude, the shot's not even that bad, guys. Look at that. Holy God. Dude. No. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. Awesome job. Like, that's not that bad, dude. Like, a little high, but... Look how giant this thing is! <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Woo! Dude, that's gotta be the same bowl. It is, dude. Five and four. I don't remember what side his five was on, but Five it's and like, four, man. How many can there be? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. We did it! We really did it. Jeez, dude. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh. I can't even believe it. I can't believe I cannot. I cannot believe oh, this. He died right away, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We did it, guys. We it did it bow, with dude. the bow. What a scenario. Your guys' first bow kill, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Oh, guys, I'm just so happy right now. Oh, man, me too. What a relief. What a relief. John, you're the man. <laughs> you, did, you, did the, you did the hard Dude, work. Uh, no, you're freaking... Uh, every day, man. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I can't believe we're, we did it. I want to be a little kid all day, man. Do you have a tape? Um, it's not on me. Well, I got my leather. The bow's 29. It's close to 60, you know. Now the fun begins. Still hasn't settled in. We took a bunch of photos, took a bunch of videos, and uh, now we're gonna we're gonna cut this bad boy up. Luckily, we can get the bikes pretty close. That's gonna be a huge lifesaver. But... Well, six and a half hours later and a lot of manpower. We have all of the meat underneath the tarp. Skull pretty much clean, ready to go. But it's eight o'clock now. We're gonna rip back to camp, sleep in, pack all our stuff up, and on the way back to main camp, we're gonna swing by, pick up all the meat, pick up antlers and everything, so. A lot of work goes into moves. Back at camp, time for uh, some food, some rest. 
We'll be back at Mr. Moosey in the morning. Bacon cheeseburgers! <laughs> <laughs> Bacon cheeseburgers. Well, just showed back up where all the moose meat is in the, in the head and everything. Brought the wheelers back here. We gotta unload everything, and then we're gonna take the wheelers as close as we can to the moose. Um, load up the moose, head back to base camp, which is another four hour drive. So this is the end. We have completed the mission. Day eight, shot a moose on film. Dream hunt of mine for sure. Everything just went so perfect. It was a grind, it was a lot of fun, but a lot of travel getting here, a lot of travel going back, but it's all worth it because we got this guy. So thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.